Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do Tales from the Cruise. Um, for those of you wondering, no I am not wearing any makeup today. The reason for that is because my face and my skin got really upset on the cruise, which is totally fine. I think that's pretty normal, especially for my skin. When I travel it gets pretty agitated. So I'm just taking a little bit of a break, so ignore the bare face. But, um... Also wanted to touch on two more things. First of all being the background. Yes, the background keeps changing. I'm aware that the distance from the camera to me has been a little bit off, especially for tutorials. I really appreciate those of you who have been bringing this to my attention in such a kind way. Thank you so much and I am working on it. This is temporary. Um, if you do like this better though, let me know. And also the other thing I wanted to touch on was the vlog situation. Uh, the intended goal was to have a vlog up for you when I got back from our cruise. And for those of you that have never done vlogging before, it is more difficult than it looks. Um, <laughs> I started off the cruise vlogging a lot and just getting little clips here and there. And when I went to put it all together, it was kind of a little bit of a hot mess. So that's why I've decided to do Tales from the Cruise instead. Um, I hope you guys are okay with that and I hope you enjoy this. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, to start off, we are going, I'm going to tell you um, the destinations that we hit along the way. So we started in Seattle and then we sailed all day for Juneau. We hit Juneau first, then Glacier Bay, then Sitka, then Ketchikan, then we hit Victoria, Canada, and then came back to Seattle. So that was kind of the destinations that we hit along the way. Um, I have some props here, a bag full of goodies. My viewfinder's over there, sorry. Um, of things that I have to include in our little uh, story time here. But uh, to start off, I figured we would just start at the beginning. So I started off with getting into Seattle and getting on board the cruise. This is my first cruise, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, the people there were so nice. And no, this is not sponsored. I'm going to say that now. It is not sponsored. Um, I just really enjoyed the cruise. I'm going to tell you all the good, the bad, everything. Um, and so we started off by getting into Seattle and then getting on board the cruise. Um, while I was doing that, I was trying to vlog and this is one of the reasons my mom will really appreciate this, but as I'm trying to vlog, she didn't realize what I was doing and so she, you can hear her in the background going, Heather, 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 will you take a picture of me? Heather, Heather, are you ignoring me? And so, um, I, I further explained what a vlog was and what I was doing and, uh, she was totally on board with it and so was my dad and my husband, of course, but... That is, <laughs> it was just a really funny experience because I'm sitting there trying to shoot something for you guys and you can just hear her in the background like, are you ignoring me? N no, mom, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to, you know, share my experience. So that is one of many reasons that I'm not putting the vlog together um, anymore. So the next day after we got on the boat in, I'm sorry, the ship, I've been corrected, on the ship in Seattle, the next day was an at sea day. And while we were at sea, they had so many great things going on. Uh, they give you a little pamphlet every day that tells you kind of what the rundown of all the things, where they are, what deck they're on, the time, and it's really cool. We went to the jewelry seminar while we were there on, um, on our, on, board day and we also got to see the jungle book uh yeah it was just a really chill settled in day um to get used to everything and get introduced to everyone which was really nice so the next day we went to Juno 
<clears throat> and we landed in Juneau fairly early. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad. It was about 10 o'clock, I think. And so we got up, had breakfast, headed down to Juneau, and that is where we had our first shore excursion. And for our shore excursion, we went whale watching, which we were super excited about. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I also caught a little bit of a cold, um, which I'll touch on in a minute. But the whale watching excursion was super fun. We had been whale watching before. Um, mostly we had seen orcas. And so we were really hoping to see some humpback whales because we had heard that this particular shore excursion was really known for that. So as we set out, um, we got to see our very first glacier. And I am not going to try and pronounce the name because, first of all, I can't remember it. Second of all, every time I tried to pronounce it, um, I always got it wrong. So out of respect, I'm going to call it the Glacier in Juneau. Um, it was beautiful. It was really cool to see that. And then we headed out to the open waters and we did get to see some humpback whales. Pro tip for those of you going on a whale watching tour, if you want to see the whales and are not super concerned about getting pictures or video that have any kind of glare in them um, or any kind of tint from the window, sit downstairs inside next to a window. <clears throat> the boats cannot go anywhere until the whales pass. So we actually sat inside. I had a really nice camera that I was using. My, my uh, father was videotaping. My mom had her camera out. My husband had his camera out. And I think of the hundreds of pictures that I took of the, the humpback whales, um, I had maybe two or three that had glare on it and it really wasn't anything significant. Um, I could like crop the picture and it was totally fine. So that is just my little pro tip. But, uh, while we were out there, we got to see humpback whales. We got to see some seals and we got to see some orcas, which from what the naturalist was saying on board, it is very unusual for this particular tour to see the orcas at this time of year. Um, they tend to be transient, so they kind of travel from Alaska down to, I believe it's California, but don't quote me on that, um, and then back up to Alaska. So it was very fortunate that we got to see them. And the other fortunate thing was we got to see a humpback whale breach, which for those of you who don't know what that is, it is where the whale basically jumps out of the water and just like, whoo, and then splashes down into the water again. I did get a picture of it, which I was super excited, but the picture when I <laughs> took a look at it, that whale was really far away. So, you know, it's one of those, hey, I caught it on film, but you can't see it. So it's, it's there. Yeah, but that's okay. I caught it on film. So <laughs> I was super excited about that. And it was, frankly, I wouldn't have even caught it on film. I happened to be holding my camera and like almost pointed in that direction. So when someone goes, look, I literally swung the camera and just clicked and like prayed that I got something because I wasn't looking at the viewfinder. I wasn't looking through the little um, lens piece. I just pointed and clicked because I wanted to experience it, which is what I got to do. So that was very exciting. And after that, we headed back from the whale watching into Juno. And there we hit up the Red Dog Saloon. And if you've ever been to Juneau, Alaska, I guess this is a very famous kind of Western style saloon. S saloon? Yeah, saloon. And <laughs> it is one of the um, oldest buildings in the Juneau historical area. Uh, it has been revamped a couple of times just to keep it fresh, but it was very cool. Um, they had wonderful decorations. They had live performers and they had one of the worst waitresses I think I've ever had. Um, and I mean this in the kindest of ways. Like it was comical. 
um, she brought me a Coke. I had asked for water. Um, I, and she brought me a Coke and she was like trying to make me take it. And my husband goes, she asked for water and she like started yelling at me. Now, of course, you're in this very old westerny um, style saloon and you're getting your beverages from a waitress that is very dressed up for the time. So I thought she was kidding. But when she came back and brought me the water, she actually was like, I'm so sorry for yelling at you. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. And I was like, oh, that wasn't a joke? Well, okay. Oh, well. Um, she also messed up one of the orders of the food. And then my dad got a drink that had a souvenir mug with it. And so you were supposed to drink the drink in there and then bring your receipt next door to the gift shop and they would give you the souvenir mug. And so we brought the receipt and the person at the souvenir shop was like, this is our own receipt. So we went back in and talked to the waitress. Well, it turns out not only had she not given him the right receipt, she hadn't put any of the drinks on the, the bill. So he actually didn't qualify for the souvenir mug. So he went back into the um, shop anyways and just bought a mug. And again, he and I were kind of on the same wavelength. We thought it was hilarious. We thought it was funny. Like, this is just a comedy show basically with our dinner. But um, yeah, so that was kind of a, a fun little rundown of the Red Dog Saloon. Uh, it was even with all its little quirks, amazing experience and a lot of fun. And then we got back on the boat after getting some fudge because you can't go to Alaska and not get the Alaska fudge. So we got some fudge and then headed back to the boat and ship. I'm going to do that through this whole video. Yeah. Ship. Went back to the ship and um, got on board and we set sail then for Glacier Bay, which was the next place that we hit. Uh, in Glacier Bay, the next morning, we actually didn't make a port of call, which is where you like stop in at a town. We were able, we were on a Holland America um, cruise line that was a smaller boat. It was the MS Westerdam. Um, so while we were there, um, we were able to actually take the boat into Glacier Bay and they sat us in front of one of the glaciers. It was a mile wide, 20 miles back. Um, it was one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. This was just an amazing experience. Um, we got to see one of the glaciers cave, which is where the, a slab of ice falls off into the water. Um, that was amazing. And then we actually got to see off to the right of the main glacier. The naturalist was saying that there was something that looked like a dirt road almost, which was actually a new glacier forming. And so that was the experience in Glacier Bay. Um, from there, we, I mean, we toured to three different glaciers, but we didn't stay as long in the other glaciers as we did with the first one. And um, that's probably where I caught my cold because I didn't want to miss anything, but I woke up late and so I hopped in the shower, ran outside, we're sitting next to a slab of ice that, like I said, is a mile wide, 20 miles back with wet hair, much like it looks today. And, um, <laughs> I was at the front of the boat, ship, ah, every time, at the front of the ship. And my mom and dad were actually off to the side, um, kind of midship. And so my dad came back and was like, you gotta come because we had a, a photo package. And so they were actually taking the pictures at midship on the side. So my husband and I jumped down, ran over, and when we got there, <laughs> we got our picture taken, and then we were like, we gotta find mom. So we're looking, we're looking, mom's got this front row seat to the side of the ship, and it's right, like, right up against the, the glacier, <laughs> and I'm like, 
having a hard time finding her because she's a little bit shorter than I am. Um, but that wouldn't have been an issue except a gentleman had decided he wanted to take a picture of the glacier or maybe he was taking a video. I'm not really sure because he was there for a, a bit. Yeah. Um, but he decided that he needed to stabilize his camera, which was his phone. And not, not a big deal, right? Except he did it on my mom's head. So my mom became a tripod, which pleased her to no end. And I'm sure she loves that I am sharing this experience with you guys. But it was one of the funniest things I had ever seen. Uh, because... I'm standing there, I had found her, and I'm watching this whole thing unfold, and I'm trying really hard not to laugh, because the guy, like, brought his camera down, was looking at it, and, like, looked up like he was going to tell someone something, and then, like, started to back away, and then kind of, like, ran away, um, <laughs> and we, I think that he thought that my mom was actually with him, like, some someone in his party, and... He figured they wouldn't mind, but she wasn't, so <laughs> it was really funny um, just to watch the whole thing. And she, of course, did not really appreciate that, but she got over it. And, I mean, it was just a beautiful sight and something to take in that it, she didn't have time to, to fret on that. But it was just really, really funny. Okay. So after Glacier Bay, we hit Sitka, and Sitka is a teeny, teeny, tiny town. Um, Juno had the largest population, and Sitka had the smallest population. So our boat was 2,000 people, and they were saying that that like more than doubled Sitka's population which I think was a little bit of an exaggeration, but probably not much. And then we actually uh, had maybe 20 minutes before our next shore excursion happened. And this shore excursion, I cannot remember the exact name of it, but it was supposed to be a like open water rafting uh, volcano tour because Sitka has a dormant volcano in its areas that we could go and tour and so we went on this zodiac boat it only held six people which to put in perspective our group was four of the six people um so we i was super nervous about it um for a variety of reasons and actually my mom was too um but it ended up being the highlight of our trip and we got on the boat and um, we started heading out and I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. It's kind of like riding a horse because you're sitting, the way the Zodiac boats work is you sit with your legs like on either side of the seat and the seat is like a rubber cushion. So that way as you go over bumps, it gives and it protects you. Um, so I'm like, this is just like riding a horse, no big deal, right? So, as we're heading out to the volcano, um, we found an otter, and this wonderful little otter was with its little friend, and the friend was not so happy that we were circling around him, so he dove, but the other otter was sitting there, and he was very curious, and so I was waving to him, and I'm going, hi, hi, you know, like a crazy person, hi, I'm waving at an animal that doesn't understand me. Except the otter waved back, guys. Ah, I'm so excited. It was like the highlight of my trip. It like was sitting there playing with its little shell. And then it was like looking at me. And all of a sudden, it like lifted its little paw. And like went like this. And like was just kind of like watching us go in circles. And it, it waved back. And my husband will tell you that it's true. It is a true story. It waved back. And my dad actually might have even gotten it on film, which would be awesome. But um, that was just a huge highlight of my trip. Um, we also got super close to some humpback whales. Uh, we 
rode in and kind of stopped and they came swimming right by us. And I mean, like, probably within 20 to 30 feet of us. It was insane. And they're just beautiful and huge. They're huge. Like, when we went whale watching, I was like, oh, this is a little lackluster. I thought they would be bigger. And then when we were in the Zodiac, I was like, please don't kill me. Oh, sorry. I was like, please don't kill me because they're huge. And we were so close that we actually, as they dove, the tail comes up and we could see the barnacles on the tail, which was really cool. Um, from there, we went to an island that was made of the volcanic um, rock and it was just amazing. It was beautiful. It had tons of different birds. Um, it had puffins, which they're adorable and funny, um, which also they're skittish and I didn't know that, uh, but they're really cute. And then there was another bird that I can't remember the name of and I'm sorry, Captain, cause you told us like 20 times and I can't remember, but they're all black. They look almost like a crane, but they have all black feathers and like these bright orange feet. Um, but their feathers don't have the oils in them to protect them from the water. So if they get wet, they can get sick. So when they are, um, trying to fly from like one section of the island to the other section of the island, they look like they're running on water. It's the funniest, craziest thing ever. And, um, so that was super cool. We got to go into a cave that was made by this volcanic rock and it was just amazing. So like I said, just a wonderful all around experience. Um, and then we sailed right on to Ketchikan and Ketchikan was our last, last stop in Alaska. I can talk. Um, Ketchikan was our last stop in Alaska and while we were there, we did some shopping, um, which is where our little trinkets come in. Um, so while we were there, we stopped in Del Sol, which we actually stopped in the Del Sol. We stopped into a Del Sol store while we were in Juneau as well, because that was one of the first places we had heard about. And it has this really cool thing to all of its products like they're known for this so I hear that they are all around but I've only seen them in, Cal in California no in Alaska I've only seen them in Alaska so um we picked up a couple of shirts while we were at Del Sol um I picked up this one I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it hold on a second is this Disney Rapunzel shirt um, and then my husband got a Star Wars shirt, which looks like a these. And we also picked up some trinkets uh, that you're going to see later on in one of the upcoming episodes on my channel because I'm going to do a does this thing work, um, which I think is going to turn out really cool. Uh, the reason that I'm going to do that is because all of their products have a sun quality where they actually turn colors or different colors when they get um, reaction a reaction with the sun. So I'm super excited to get to do that. Um, so stay tuned for that. But Del Sol was one of our highlight shops from the whole trip. And after that, we went to the great... American Lumberjack show and we got to see this performance if you don't know anything about Catch Ken they are a um, timber town they produced I don't know if that's the actual proper terminology but they they were very well known for producing a lot of the wood that helped build up our country so um, the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show or Great American Lumberjack Show is actually a tribute to that. And so we got to see some of the um, techniques that they used 
in a competition style show. And it was a lot of fun. And after that, we hopped back on board the ship because we had to leave the earliest from there in order to make it to Victoria. And that was kind of a bummer because I don't know what happened. Um, a couple of people, they were looking for a couple of people and they ended up not being able to, I don't know if they couldn't find them or if there was a medical emergency, but we ended up being delayed about an hour, hour and a half um, in Ketchikan. So by the time we got to Victoria, we actually only got in about 30 minutes late, but our boat was so, sm not so small, but small enough that it wasn't heavy enough to sail into port in Victoria. Um, the captain made a decision, which I think was very wise, that we would not actually be docking in Victoria. So we didn't get to go to Canada, which was a bummer, but I don't have any hard feelings about that. I would rather be safe. So thank you, Captain, for making that really hard decision. Um, ultimately, had they sailed into Victoria, our boat ship, our ship probably would have been fine, but it would likely have hit the dock and possibly damaged the dock and people on the dock. So for everyone's safety, we decided to just drop anchor in the middle of the bay. And so we could see Victoria, but we didn't get to go there. So instead of going into Victoria, we were supposed to have another shore excursion. Um, they refunded that and we ended up getting to see the Jungle Book again, which I really enjoy that movie. My parents had not seen it. It was my dad's birthday, so that's what he wanted to do. So we went and watched it. It was a lot of fun. And then after that, we just kind of hung out. Um, and, oh, actually, before we got to Victoria, I forgot part of my story. Before we got to Victoria, we did a onboard... 5k so my husband and my father and I decided that we wanted to do this 5k um we all the three of us really I wouldn't say enjoy but we like to think we enjoy doing 5ks um I think my dad and my husband actually enjoy it a lot more than I do but I know that it's good for me and I'm very goal oriented so it is what it is so we did a 5k on board and actually um it was a 5k for a cause so they take the money that they raise on board with the 5K and they donate it to five different, I think it's five, might be four, um, different cancer societies in different countries that they make port calls in. Um, so that was really cool. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, so then after that, we didn't hit Victoria, and then we went home. All in all, it was such an amazing trip. I didn't want to come back um, to reality. I would have loved to have just filmed YouTube there because it was just awesome. Um, and I have to say that the ship room stewards were amazing. I cannot remember our guy's name, but he did um, towel animals every night for us and left a little chocolates on our bed. Um, and for someone who has anxiety and is a little bit nervous about being claustrophobic, it was just a lovely little touch to come in and be like, oh, look at this cute little adorable thing and chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? I mean, there are some people that don't love chocolate, but that's weird. So, so yeah. Um, that kind of wraps up our story time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click subscribe down below so that way you don't miss out on future videos. Like I said, we're going to be testing out some of this Del Sol products. And I'm super excited. I grabbed my husband's t-shirt. But I'm super excited to test it out. I got some nail polish. I got some sunglasses. We've got t-shirts. Let's see if it works. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.